Hey everybody, it's Nate from the Vino Paraiso Wine Store here again today. Um, hope you've been enjoying our videos we've been putting together. We'd like to uh, do a little something for you guys out there to give you a little tidbit on some wine. If you're just getting into it, a little bit of information that you can use to help grow your appreciation from wine. And then also talk about some of the wines we carry in the store and kind of give you our thoughts on them, see what we think about them, and hopefully uh, you guys like them too. Anyways, uh, today I have a D-Leaf uh, Malbec. It's a California Malbec, a vintage 2008. And I'm going to pour a little bit into my glass and let it kind of sit there for a little bit while I talk a little bit about wine. And if you're, if you're enjoying our videos and you're enjoying the little tidbits we're giving you about wine, uh, if you're probably newer to wine, you don't know a lot about it yet, and your interest is, is growing uh, to learn more about wine. And there's a lot of resources out there right now where you can go and learn a ton of stuff about wine. On the internet, people have blogs, people have videos, there's books you can read, you can stop by the wineries, they're going to tell you about stuff. And there's so much information, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but um, I'm going to give you a tip. And the best way to learn about wine, 100% to learn more about it, is drinking more wine. That is where you're going to learn about it. Just cutting your teeth on wines and getting your experience, uh, finding wines you like, finding wines you don't like, and developing your palate. And the little tip with that is, is I'll say, if you find a wine you like, say you, you go out and you're drinking a California Pinot Noir, and you like that wine, I'd suggest you the next time you go out to buy some wine, try to find another Pinot Noir from maybe Oregon or France or another region. And you can kind of compare how that wine tasted to another Pinot Noir. And you kind of just, you know, try a little bit here, a little bit there, and you kind of expand your horizon because there's going to be some differences from all sorts of wines from different regions and different varietals and different blends. So there's so much to do, but that's one way to do it is just kind of find one you like, venture on to another one and kind of start uh, exploring that way. So, um, back to the wine I was talking about. This is the, the, the Leith uh, Malbec. It's a 2008 California wine. And I got a second tip for you guys here. It's a little insight into how to read a wine label. And this is specifically for California wine labels. And there's a lot of information. I'm just going to give you a quick tidbits. But uh, the things you want to look for is vintage, the wine type, because California labels their wine by grape type, not by region, like uh, European wines do, and into where it's from. So this wine is from California, and what that means is 75% of the grapes minimum had to have come from California. So a lot of times you'll see wines labeled Napa Valley, uh, or maybe a sub-region like Oakville or Sonoma, and these that just means that the wines came 75 percent of those wines came from that specific area so this one's from california so that just means it came from california it could have been central california northern california maybe even uh in, in temecula who knows but the grapes just mean they came from california when they start getting a little bit more detailed that means they're coming from uh, more individual regions the vintage year 75 percent of the wines uh, the grapes produced in this wine came from 2008 and the Malbec is the varietal, and that means 75% of the grapes in this wine are Malbec. And a lot of times it'll be 100%, but they might be a blend. And Malbec is actually one of those wines where you kind of want to venture out and try too. So if you're drinking Cabernet and you like that, Malbec's a perfect wine to explore, and you're getting a lot of similar taste, but it's different in its own regards. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and taste this wine for you guys and tell you a little bit about it. So the color here, it's, it's a real deep dark red, I don't know if you can see it, um, with some hints of some, you know, some purple in there, so it's, it's a pretty dark one. The nose is given off, um, I smell a lot of blackberry, a little dark cherry, and uh, that's kind of what it's giving me right now. This one has more of a, a fruit forward smell to it. So give it a little taste. Mm. This one is um, a little different. I'm not certain I like this one that much. I usually am a big fan of Malbec, but I'm not so certain I like this one. 
It's, uh, it's a little bit fruity, but it's kind of got a little sour taste. I don't know if this is real balanced. Um, it's kind of got a little bit of a smoky taste to it as well. A little bit of meatiness in it. Um, I might let this one breathe a little bit and see if it, it, it comes back and maybe uh, have some food with it. Um, see if it, it develops and it's uh, worth drinking. But uh, the way it stands right now, I'd probably pass on this one. Um, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't uh, try Malbacs. Malbacs are great. We have a huge selection of Malbacs on our website. Um, and the last tidbit, when you're pairing wine with Malbec, it's not going to be as tannin -y or that chewiness that you find in some big dark Cabernets and Syrahs. So uh, a big thing right now is grass-fed beef, and grass-fed beef's a little bit leaner. And so it doesn't have as much fat, so you don't need those tans to cut through it. So if you're looking for some organic grass-fed beef uh, meals, Malbec is an excellent choice to pair with it. And um, you know, you can get a California Malbec. Argentina is known for their Malbec. There's a lot out there. So like I said before, just get out there and explore, try a lot of different tastes, and um, probably pass on this one. Um, there's probably some better ones out there, especially for the price. Malbec's gonna be a, little, a lot less expensive than um, Cabernet. So. With that being said, the wife's kind of uh, telling me to get on with the show here and uh, don't want to bore you guys any longer. So uh, tune in next time um, over here at the Vino Party So YouTube channel and visit us online at vpwinestore.com. Cheers.